what do you think is the ceiling for Habs rookie Ryan Paling? Um, I think I've said this before in one of these previous shows. I think he's, to me, he's a third line center, a good third line center. Uh, if you look at his stats in NCAA hockey, he wasn't a big goal scorer. He's never really been a big goal scorer, but he's a 200 foot player, big body, can skate, can hit, goes hard to the net. So I think uh, moving forward, I see him as a third. I don't mean that. I mean, if he makes it as a good third line center, that's a good pick. You know, the 25th overall in the first round. If you can get a third line center, that's not a, that's not a bad pick. And I think that's where he's going. And he's become more valuable this year because at the beginning of the season, he had never really played wing before. A little bit, I think, at the World Juniors. And Bergevin has used him on the wing on the fourth line. And I think that was a smart move because now he's he's comfortable on the wing. He's comfortable at center. So that's that's helps not only the coach, it helps the player moving forward. You can play a guy in different positions on different lines. But again, moving forward in the future I see him as a, as a third line center with the Canadians. I also think he's one of those players that you have to give time to develop coming from the U.S. college route it's a little bit different than coming from junior hockey take some more time uh, you know to get used to the jump to pro but he you know even though he was a first round pick he wasn't supposed to be sort of the the, the top player on this team so as Stu mentioned if he's a third liner that's perfect for him and uh, you know I think this it's you know that his development is going to be on the right track right now I've liked so far what I've been able to see from him and I actually do like that he's pretty honest you know mm -hmm. when he was sent down to Laval and he said that he was shocked by that and then used that as motivation and he's been uh, doing well since then. I've said this on uh, previous episodes I think he's going to be a Selkie award-winning uh individual in this league within the next 10 to 15 years you know as he progresses as this and he learns more about being that third line center uh, be uh, you know being defensively responsible killing penalties i think we're going to see a lot from this guy so the the sky's the limit there is no ceiling for this guy he's a smart kid like when you talk to him he's really a, an intelligent kid he learns the game he knows the game he learns things quickly he learned how to how to play the wing he reminds me a little bit of lars eller Maybe a little bit more physical, but if he can turn into another Lars Eller and be used properly, one of the problems with Lars Eller when he was here is he should have been a third line center, but he was a first line center, a second line center. Going back to you know, Michel Terry and talking about the chairs, and every every team has certain chairs and you have to fit into them. Uh, they never put Lars Eller in the right chair. So if they can put Ryan Paling in the right chair and realize looking forward that his 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 goal for the future is to be a third line center, I think he can fill that chair. And he knows he's safe with Kakanyemi on his his enforcer. <laughs> in Montreal, I think. Go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episode.